Pro skaters make their money off of shoe companies and energy drink sponsors and bigger contests even now. But it's like your board company, that represents your personal identity in a way that none of the other stuff does. And when they picked that team, there was like some pretty heavy hitters on there. If I was part of Plan B, I'd be freaking out like, this has got to be my best skating I've ever done in my whole life. There's a standard I got to live up to. I want to be part of it. I've always wanted to be a part of a, of a skateboarding team, you know, that meant more than just a check or, you know, just riding for a, a company because I needed boards or, you know, there's just more to it than that. I like to be a part of a program that motivates me. A team that, you know, there's other guys on the team that I respect and also inspire me by their worth ethics or creativity or all the above. We take a lot of pride in Plan B. This is our thing, all of us together. There's not other companies that we ride for that we all like, you know, have a stake in. This is that company. Paul is definitely a street skater. It could be technical street, it could be handrails, it could be stairs, like he just has all that stuff unlocked. I need to do it better though. He knows what he wants to do and he knows how to go out and do it. That's the raddest thing about Paul is, is watching his skateboarding. He's a dude that maps out what he wants to do and with everything from I think contests to tricks to physical condition he's always progressing and he's always building on what he has you can look at the end of Paul's video him doing like the nollie trick or grind nollie late front foot flip out and like, you know, just recently he comes out with the Nolly Flip, Crooks, Nolly Front Flip Flip Out. He's always progressing and he's always building on what he had. Oh, here's Paul's video part. It's awesome. Like, it's, you know, it's as good as me. It's better than his last part. And he knows in his head that, like, when he does that, you know, he can move on to the next thing. He's got it down. <laughs> Paul's team captain. I've never seen anyone more professional <laughs> about how they handle their business and, like, and being a, a nicer, more laid back, friendly, friendly dude. Just a consummate professional. Paul Rodriguez knows that Ryan Sheckler likes pressure. The pressure. Sheckler! 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 It's funny because I met Ryan when he was like six and, and shot some photos of him for Trans World. Here's this kid that was getting a lot of attention, and he could do stuff, and you could tell that he was going to be something. And as time went by, and as he grew, like he got stronger and stronger. Ryan, you know, to me is like one of the sickest professional skateboarders out there today. People know the mainstream side of it, but like I love it because he doesn't ever let that that dictate any of you know what he does and where he stands in skateboarding. He's out in the streets, you know what I mean? He's filming his video part and I don't think people understand just how how much he's out there just beating the shit out of himself trying to trying to film this next plan B part and how passionate he is about just skateboarding period. He's one of the few that that you can watch in a, in a crowd and go like this guy really stands out, like he's he's on it. I feed off of how good those dudes are, you know what I mean? But there's a 15, 20 year difference. Of course, I'm like, God, I wish I was that good still, you know? <laughs> but I did it, you know? I 
I'm just happy to be out there with those dudes. You know, we come from a different time in skateboarding. And for like Danny, myself, Duffy, you know, Plan B for us is a great chance to put out there what skateboarding was to us and what it means to us. And then, you know, we have the whole new generation of guys on the team who have so much input into the company as well. And, you know, they bring what skateboarding is to them to it. For them to entrust us with carrying the legacy that they built off their pure heart, their pure, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, is a huge honor. It's just the fact that you know the gnarly heads that have put out Plan B parts, so you kind of obviously want to be up to par and um, not above it, but you just want to be in that zone for the time of skateboarding that we're in. I think it's good for skateboarding to have a, have a team like Plan B. I look forward to these trips every single time. Like from the second they get planned, I cannot wait to get on a Plan B trip. Jekyll's gonna have to split his little girl female fan base down the middle. 